Okay, we're rolling. Hey guys, this is Seb Sanford, and yeah, I'm deciding to wear some reading glasses for this intro, and this Josie jacket that I got from Euro Disney some two months ago, by the time this video is recorded. Anyways, welcome back to my channel, and today this is a special um, vlog on my YouTube channel, and you guys seen um, my Disney content, like reacting to Disney movies and TV shows for the theaters and Disney Plus, and my past few visits to Disneyland, and and so on. Um, I'm still going to Disneyland in October for its 100th anniversary. And speaking of Disney's 100th anniversary, I'm deciding to make this special video. Well, well yeah, this video is all about um, something really special and something that I grew up watching as a kid and reading the books of this particular children's book character and uh, popping up on our TV screens. And um, I am, of course, talking about everyone's favorite bear, Winnie the Pooh. And yet, Winnie the Pooh has his own new musical stage adaptation. It started in the U.S. at the Rockefeller, um, probably outside of Broadway, uh, around the Broadway area, but now um, it came here in the UK in March. Yeah, I think it came out in March. Um, it, it has until the end of um, the month of May, until it spreads, um, goes on a tour around many parts of England, uh, parts of England and Ireland. And lucky enough for me and my dad ski, uh, we're heading on over to the Riverside Studios in London, England. Um, it's about less than a two hour drive from middle of nowhere land where I'm recording this intro. I'm really excited to see how this show turns out to be and and yeah, it, it explains it all. So so yeah, let's get myself prepped up for the show and hopefully I'll have a little surprise near the end of the performance. Um, but I'm not going to record the whole show because of theater performance reasons, but something really special, uh, a little surprise uh, throughout the entire vlog, so stay tuned for that. Yeah, let's get myself set up. Okay, it's 1.05 p.m. and I'm about to head on over to London, England for the Winnie the Pooh show. Uh, it's the new musical stage adaptation. I think to start off the journey and the time lapses in which you're about to see right now, I think we need a piece of film music like this one. I saw this on a video commercial once. Here we are. Welcome to London. Well, uh, a corner of London. I don't know which street we're on, but we're gonna find Riverside Studios somewhere around this area. Okay, we parked our car and the Riverside Studios um, building is just down that pavement over there. At the moment, we're on Hammersmith. So uh, we gotta start walking. Okay. Well, voila. Riverside Studios, it's brand new at Riverside, on the following posters, and the, the stage musical we're going to see, that's Winnie the Pooh, it's there until the 21st of May this year. It, it even has a theater, it has a cinema, an exhibition, and a place where you can eat and drink uh, in case you get a little hungry. And there's a different number of plays with stage um, productions that are playing at the moment, including this one that we're about to see. And at the moment, we need to find the entrance. So yeah, as soon as we get to the entrance, the sooner we can see what's at the gift shop. We gotta see the gift shop before the place starts. Guess we found the entrance. Riverside Studios. And there's its website, riversidestudios.co.uk. And there are the posters uh, for the same plays that are playing here at the studios. And we have a beautiful scenery. Is it a lake? It's a river. Oh, the River Thames. Well, what can I say? Welcome to London. 
Well, we're inside the studios, and whilst we're waiting for the show to start, um, it's a 65-minute show with no interval. And whilst waiting for the show to start, um, whilst before the doors are gonna open, I got some Winnie the Pooh musical merchandise. Allow me to go over them um, later on in the vlog, but it's best not to describe it now because it will probably waste my time. But it did come from a little tiny gift shop, a little shack. Um, I'm really proud with the merchandise that I've got. And I can't wait to go over them later on. Okay, the doors are now open. We are in Studio 2 of the Riverside Studios, and we're about to make our way into the 100 acre wood. I can hear the birds chirping. Design. There's rabbits' uh, cabbage patch and there's carrots. Wonderful playing field. Uh, I think that's the acoustics bridge over there. And there's, I think that's Owl's tree. And a notice written by Christopher Robin that says, um, that says I think it says gone to school, uh, CR, um, to make sure he he's not taken by a so called Baxen. Cause I know what happens in the 2011 movie. I, I think this is Kingfisher's Eeyore's spot with a house made of sticks. Uh, every time, uh, every time that Eeyore builds a house of sticks, it always falls down. He's always gloomy, but all the all that Eeyore needs is a little love, and I think that's what I need to give him right now. And, I think that's a spot where Owl appears, I think. I don't even know who's in that tree at the moment. So I'm about to take my seed, but they're really not gonna let us film the, the whole show due to theater purposes. So I gotta have to film the curtain call at the end. So I'll sit back, relax, enjoy the show, and I'll give you a little surprise at the end. I just finished the show and it was just wonderful. Love the puppeteers and the characters and the scenery. It was all just beautiful. It almost felt like I was watching the Book of Pooh, but it's much better than that TV show. Now you're in for a special treat, a special surprise for you. I'm going to be meeting uh, Winnie the Pooh on that stage that I'm looking at right now because the tickets I got are the meet and greet sections here in this Riverside studio. Yeah, he'll be on stage really soon. I can't wait. We got some company. Wow. Tigger, 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 Poo. Hello. Let's smile at your lovely rectangle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, good evil. I, I have something to show you. Oh, yeah. sure. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And how much I appreciate the show. It was awful. Oh, and who's so nice? I, I, I couldn't stop smiling. Oh, oh this is for you. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's a little over. Yeah, it is. I didn't know they came that small. And a small tickle. Oh, oh look at me, tiny, tiny. Yeah. tiny wow. tickle. The, these are. These are my stuffed toys for when I was little. Oh, and I, I had them all along, and I love these two so much. Oh, we oh, love you so much. much. Yes. And Piglet. And me too. Oh, oh, and oh, and oh, and oh, your scarf. Oh, and my scarf. Give him a little kiss. Oh, oh, oh yes. Thank you. Taylor. Yeah. Oh, 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 too cute. Oh, he's my favorite. Got any Eeyores in there? Uh, uh, they must have been like, behind. 
Again, than the Book of Pooh. It's wonderful. Now, when I get back to Corsten, middle of nowhere land, I'll be happy to show you the merchandise that I just got an hour before the show started. So, let's head on back. So now, I just got back from London and Riverside Studios. And, like I said, I got the merchandise and I wanted to show you what I got from that little gift shop outside Studio 2. Starting things off with this here poster. It's in a metal case and it has the logo right over here, Winnie the Pooh, the new musical stage adaptation. And as you can see, uh, if you turn it vertically, you see Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Piglet, and Eeyore on this side. So the logo on this side, Pooh and Friends at the back. I think I managed to hang this up on the wall, which I probably did right about now, as you can tell by this little clip right over here on my right to you its left. Okay, now I have two of the stuffed animals that they were selling. I have a new uh, Winnie the Pooh doll out of um, all the ones that I've got. I think this is the cuddliest and the cutest version of Pooh. And I also have Tigger. There's still the name tags are on there attached to their ears. Please. These are wonderful, really too cute to hold. You should definitely give these to your loved ones, especially children. Yeah, it's too cute. Tops made out of rubber, check. Um, bottoms made out of springs, check. Stripes and Winnie the Pooh's shirt and really loves honey. Yes, correct. And finally, I have the program that I've got from the gift shop. It goes behind the scenes of how they made the show and what the set design was like and the actors and a little bit of uh, the script um, and a few chapters that go throughout the whole year like from autumn to winter to spring to summer. Uh, there were four scenes in this 70 minute play. Each one goes from a different season. It's just, just a wonderful play. I definitely recommend you go and see this. So and somewhere uh, in the book, you'll get to see pages from the many characters in the Hundred Acre Wood, like Tigger and Roo and Rabbit. And we still have Baby Roo in here. And we have a bit of Pooh and Piglet and one of the Christopher Robin actors. I thought the Christopher Robin actor that I saw on today's play was really good, even though he was there for the, for the end of Act 3. So yeah, th this is my merchandise that I got from the gift shop at Riverside Studios for the Winnie the Pooh play, uh, the one in London. And it was a two hour drive, but I'm glad I got to see it before the show ships off on a tour, cities around the UK and Ireland. And I really want this show to go on for a little while longer. And I think it will. I'm very happy to have seen that show with my dad and I'm pretty sure he enjoyed it as well. I couldn't stop smiling all the way through the thing. This is just the best, um, Winnie the Pooh show I have ever seen. It's the perfect 2023 show that you should definitely watch. And I think it played um, last year in New York City. And I hope it will play in Toronto and different parts of Canada really soon. I think they already did, but I'm pretty sure they'll do um, Canada really soon. Fingers crossed for that one. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, if you like what you just seen, be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe today, and turn on those notifications, and follow me on my Instagram link in the description. Thanks for watching this video with me and be sure to check out the new Winnie the Pooh um, musical stage adaptation in your local area, whether it's in America, Canada, or the UK and Ireland. Be sure to see it while it lasts and I shall see you on another video soon. Bye. 
Okay guys, if you like what you just seen, be sure to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications and check out my other videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.